everyone, bit of a different video today. So when we bought our bus, first thing we did was start stripping stuff out of it. So seats and the ceiling and the wheelchair ramp and what else? Lights. Lights, the speakers, um, all of this stuff, it kind of came out fairly quickly. And we thought, yeah. it did, didn't it now? We thought, I wonder if we could sell any of this stuff to make some pennies back. And that's what we're going to show you in today's video. Yeah. And we also managed to reuse some stuff as well. Yeah, so that's another thing. So if we didn't have to buy new, we've tried to reuse what we can. Again, for us, keep costs down. Um, but I guess save the planet as well. Please <laughs> reuse the cycle. All of that good stuff. So we don't know how this video is going to land, but we wanted to try and share just in case it would be helpful to anyone doing the same thing. So, you know, you could make some pennies back. But it would be really good to hear as well if you've done anything similar, um, what you have managed to sell and what you haven't. Because we've got a couple of things in here that when we bought the bus, the seller was like, oh, you'll be able to get a few hundred pounds for that. And it really wasn't the case. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with a pandemic on, so. So yeah, the small for today's video is going to be about. Um, hope you enjoy, drop your comments down below. One of the first things that we did when we bought our bus um, was take all the seats out. And we discovered like quite quickly um, that people try and sell these things, don't they? Yeah. But, um, but sadly, we only managed to completely sell one. Mm. So we sold one for 50 quid. I think if we had the chance to store them, uh, we might have been able to sort of hold out, but our seats weren't in that good a condition. So we made the decision to strip them down into component parts, which, um, you know, to start off with, we didn't, it didn't come to us straight away, but it made a lot of sense. So the first thing where we made quite a lot of money from was taking the unwin brackets off the bottom of the seats. Now, if you check eBay and Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree and all those places, you'll see that they go for around sort of 15 up to about 40 pounds a pair. So unwin fittings, yeah, we, we sold for 18 to 35 pounds each and we managed to get 82 pounds. In total. in total, because we didn't have that many seats in our bus and not all of them had unwind fittings on them, but it was good. So £82, pounds, £50, pounds, so about £130 pounds from, our, from our seats. So that was good, at least they didn't just go into landfill. Um, some of the things that we stripped off of the seats included headrests, which we managed to sell for £10 pounds each, um, armrests, which we sold for £5, pounds. We also managed to sell the seat belt, which on my list here we sold for, I think a combined about £35. So for all of the different seat belts, it's amazing because as long as they are, have recently been MOT'd and they're in good condition, people buy them to put them in like kit cars and stuff like that. So it's well worth selling them on it if, if you can be bothered. So yeah. Um, what other things did we sell? So we took out everything from inside the bus, didn't we? Yeah, completely. Um, what other things did we sell, Lily? You mentioned some of them earlier. She said armrest. You said armrest, yes, didn't yeah. you? That was yeah. a good one. That was my favourite one. That was the favourite <laughs> one, was it? Um, so other things I've got on my list, we managed to sell the old speakers, believe it or not. And um, rusty. Yeah, yeah, which was mad. We thought, why not we give it a go? We had. Um, cheap listing fees on eBay, so we sold those. I think we only got about fiver for those, but a fiver paid for some more screws and things like that. And we have a lot of wires. We have a lot of wires in the bus, don't we? Yeah, and we have to get rid of them. No, they're We even managed to sell um, some of the, the no smoking signs yeah, and, right. and sit down signs. Like fire extinguisher and stuff like that. Fire extinguisher signs, yeah. and I think that was combined for about eight quid. The fire in case it gets on fire. We kept that. We are going to keep it in case the bus gets on fire. Yeah, just in case. One of the biggest jobs that we did was taking the floor out up to, up to this day, obviously. Um, and it was quite a task. So we decided to drill all of the bolts out because we wanted to save the floor. That allowed us to save most of the unwind rails, which we sold for £93. Um, in combination one set and I think 13 pounds 
for the shorter rails that we had that were sort of scrapped. Um, so again, it was, if you can get them out in one piece, they do sell for good it's money. Um, especially if you can, again, get those one pound selling fees on eBay. So we managed to sell those things. Other things that we sold, which it's a, li it's a little bit sneaky of us, but we wanted to include it. So the seats that we're putting in in the front up here, we bought three of them for 400 pounds. But then we sold one of them for 150. So I suppose the lesson is, you, you, if you buy in bulk like we did, we bought three seats, you could sell one of them and, and then reduce your cost. But we won't include that in our end total because it didn't really come out, but it is in there. We only wanted to buy the two, but they wouldn't let us buy them as two because they went to buy all of them, so that's what we did and just sold the extra yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that, that's most of the stuff that we've managed to sell from in the bus, I think. Oh no, that's not true. We sold the diesel heater as well. Yeah. So our our bus came with a Eberspasha D4 heater that was beyond repair for us. So it was really well seized, it was all rusty inside. Um, the, the fan didn't even move. So we thought we would have a go at selling that on eBay, and we did, and we managed to sell that for um, £62. But it seems crazy. Seems crazy, because <laughs> yeah. a brand new heater cost 85 quid. Granted it was a Chinese diesel heater, as you know, but um, it nearly paid for all of that, which we were really happy with. A little tip for you there, though, if, if you don't mind spending a little bit more time and effort, you can actually sell um, the heater down in its component parts. So I, I know that the, the harness sells for quite a lot, and then the unit sells for quite a lot. You can even sell the pumps if they're in good order for quite a lot, but we got ours for £62, um, it was sold to someone that refurbishes them, so we were very happy with that. Okay, so moving on, we're going to talk about some of the things that we've saved. We haven't saved loads of stuff, but some of the things that we have saved are going to save us quite a bit of money, and that was a lot of the word mm -hmm. saves in there, wasn't it? Um, so obviously we're sat on our floor now, hooray, it's finally back in. <laughs> Got it in yesterday. <laughs> Got it in yesterday, which is fantastic. So yeah, this and this floor here, we've managed to save. And now you can't worry about me falling in holes. True. You don't have to worry about you falling in holes. So you, the floor, um, we've managed to save it by putting lots of dowels in there, sealing it, uh, sanding it, and making it all good. And we know that it's watertight now. If we were to have to have replaced this floor. This is proper phenolic plywood. Um, the the sheets they sell for so much money. These are giant sheets. We worked it out to be around three, four hundred pounds that it would have cost us. So we've kind of saved ourselves money by reusing it. Um, and as a happy coincidence, it also fit the existing bolt holes in the floor. So saved us having to re-drill. So we were pretty happy with that. Um, other things that we've reused, not that many things yet, I don't think. But no. it'd be good to hear what you've managed to reuse down in the comments because you know it might help out other people. And we're just interested to see if other people have gone to these sort of crazy yeah. lengths to save a bit of money. We'll across. say like all the metal that we took out that we could, we did scrap it, didn't we? So it's not That's just going true. to landfill. That's true. So we collected an awful lot of scrap, um, which you can see in the pictures here. And if you can take that to the scrap yard yourself, we would we were told that we would have got about eighty-five to about one hundred and twenty pounds for that. But we didn't get that for it because we had someone come and collect it and the price of the scrap that we had just for um ferrous metals is, is not that good. So if you if you've got the capacity to take it, obviously some people will say, oh, I didn't take it in your van. The floor wasn't in the van, and I haven't got my driving license to drive it yet, so it just wasn't possible. But it is worth considering. We've heard when people have taken the floor out and done exactly what we did, like I said, upwards of £100 could be clawed back. So it's definitely worth trying to remember to do that. Or we'll find someone that will give you, um, give you weighed in prices and collection would be ideal. Okay, so things that we wish we had kept. Again, this this is quite small because we've tried to reuse as, yeah. absolutely as much as we can, but 
when I first stripped out the overhead cab at the front, there was a lot of plywood in there that I wish I'd kept and reused, um, but just didn't. Like in my haste, um, early days of um, tearing stuff down, mm. we just needed to get rid of it because it was piling up outside the house and it was yeah. a bit of an eyesore. Uh, but if I had room to keep that, I would have because it was good plywood that we could have reused maybe to box out the the wheel arches or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wish I had kept that. Um, other things off the top of my head, not a lot at the moment, but we'll try and keep you updated mm -hmm. if we find anything. Um, something that I was glad that we kept was we kept a lot of the flat aluminium that came off the side of here. And we've already reused that to make sort of protective boxes underneath our bus for our gas solenoid and for our, our heater intake and all of that stuff. We've made little boxes out of that stuff. Um, and it's just good to keep around so it doesn't take up much space. We've added up what we actually have managed to sell and it comes to... £363 without the spare seat we sold, but with the spare seat we sold it was £530. So it's really worth us doing that um, and I'm glad that we did. Yes. Stuff that we didn't do, and stuff that it depends. So I mentioned earlier, when we bought the bus, you know, we were given the old sales pattern of, yeah, you could sell that wheelchair ramp for 300 pounds. You can't, our, our wheelchair ramp was scrapped um, and couldn't have been reused. No one would have bolted it back into their vehicle. However, if you've bought a new vehicle and it has a, a new ramp on it, you might be able to get something for it, but... So that's something to keep in mind. Definitely, definitely. Um, and we reckon we saved about £380 not having to replace the floor with new plywood, which is fantastic, because everything's getting quite expensive at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we've managed to do, and we just wanted to share. I know it's a, a little bit of a strange topic for a video, but it'd be really cool to find out if you've done anything similar. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next week. Mum, there's two whites, two red, two blues, two greens, two reds, and two yellows. Wow. Fam, you could be charging out all this up in a minute then. Yeah? Yeah. If we get an underline. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, okay.